going on YouTube? So it's Friday. Vlogs are always on Friday, so here we are with another vlog. Um, last week I had asked y'all uh, about your opinion dealing with pro staff and you know the people getting percentages off and companies bringing on a lot of pro staff at a you know discount and what your opinion was um, with the effect of it you know how the effect was on the industry as a whole and a lot of people commented I really appreciate y'all going out of your way to comment and let me know what y'all thought uh, definitely had varying opinions on it um, which is which is awesome it's always good uh, but like I said this week I would give you kind of what I think about it which probably won't be that far from what um, y'all were saying but I I guess I'll just jump right in I you know I don't think that it's as bad as a lot of other professional anglers will make it out to be I hear it a lot uh, from guys saying man the reason we can't get paid the reason we can't get any money is because X and X company is giving away all their stuff they're you know they're giving it away to all these other stuff they're not gonna pay me when they can get somebody else to do this and and I and I'll admit I at one point in time I'm guilty of saying the same thing um, you know years before however now I've sat back and thought about it more over the last couple of years and I think overall it's actually good for the industry and here's why um, companies when they're doing this obviously pro staff is promotional staff so companies that are doing this they're selling baits at let's just say 50 percent 50 percent off um, so they're pro staff members promotional staff that's they're not they're not losing money the companies are most likely I mean I can't speak for every company out there but more than likely they're not losing money by doing that they're probably still making money maybe not as much off of each back of eight, obviously but they're making money and I can tell you this it, it's almost like I would almost guarantee you that if you looked at the numbers that when somebody is given a 30 to 40 50 percent discount that they will spend more money with that company because of that discount because they're going to get more baits now is that a bad thing absolutely not you know th that strategy or, or whatever you want to call it like they've used it in retail stores and i think women's clothing is it's probably the most famous for it you know they mark the clothes or whatever they mark it down and say hey you're saving 30 percent and it just makes like it makes a person feel good that you're doing that so, and i'm not getting off I don't take this as i'm saying these companies are doing it as a predatory um thing they're just scamming people. i'm not saying that at all i think that with the economy and the way it is that it's a thing <clears throat> it's an it's allowing two things it's allowing your tournament anglers and a lot more of your fishermen to get out there to purchase more baits and to spend more time on the water i mean you're gonna get if you're not spending so much money on all your lures you're getting to use what you want um it's a it's a win-win you know the companies are still able to get product in people's hands and people are getting to use more products now people say oh well it's 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 breaking the bank for the companies you know it's making them broke yeah i don't think so you know if i'm part of a company at whatever level i want that company to be ultimately successful now if that means that they they have a thousand guys out there promoting and they're giving them 50 percent off baits that doesn't hurt my feelings any because if if all of that extra promotion from those thousand guys helps grow the company then isn't that isn't that a win for everybody that's a win for myself that's a win for the pro staff guys it's a win for the company i mean i don't understand where people can get so upset that i don't know 
I, I could ramble on about this forever, but I just don't understand people getting super upset about it because if if you're bringing, if you're growing, if the company's growing and more money is being brought into the company, there's going to be more money to go out. There, there just is. Now, I'm not saying that every company doesn't structure their themselves differently. Maybe they don't put the money back out there, but placing the blame on the guys who are who are fishing and, and taking full advantage of those discounted opportunities, I don't think they're necessarily to blame. I think as long as the company's growing, um, it's all good. So to you guys that are out there, you know, and I saw that what sparked all this, I saw a question. There was actually somebody considering taking one of these discounted pro staff positions and and they were essentially asking you know hey I, I hear a lot of these guys a lot of the pro staff guys getting a lot of flack from other people for taking discounted deals and blah 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 and they were asking because they were kind of worried about people I don't know I'm saying making fun of them but people you know messing with them because they took the deal and that's man to me that's crazy they it needs to get back to if you love to fish do what you love if that deal is going to make you happy and it's going to help your pocketbook take it because guess what if you don't somebody else will so you might as well take full advantage of an opportunity that is presented to you if it makes sense to you um I, all that being said i will say and i said this in some of the previous things uh previous vlogs we did i one thing I don't like, I don't like when people jump on board with companies simply because they want to say they're sponsors of that. I do have something against that. Love me, hate me for it. That one I gotta say I don't care because that ultimately hurts the company. I do not believe in that at all. Um, if it's a it's baits that you already use and you will be using and you believe in, whatever. If you want to take the deal makes you happy it helps you out absolutely do it because like you know it's going to help the, it's going to help the company if you believe in that product you're going to organically tell people about it and believe in it and it you know you'll end up uh helping growth of a company company naturally i'm all about that as long as you're happy you know cool do it uh, i'm just not a big fan of people just trying to find somebody to give them something and them doing it and then not ever using the product and eh, i'm not, not a real big fan of that but guys whatever makes y'all happy out on the water if, if having those deals you know is helping you out that's the big thing is if it helps you out helps that pocketbook out to where you can spend more time out on the water hey i'm all about it uh hopefully hopefully you catch a lot of fish with them you know don't don't let other people's opinions hold y'all back well, in other news i did finally get a boat which is you know somewhat necessary to fish tournaments out of i'm actually down here in uh, by lake washita right now i just dropped the boat off at off at a uh, trader bills in hot springs they're putting on a um, new jack plate i got a bob's action series jack plate that we're putting on there right now so i'm out riding around recording this for y'all if it ends up being a little late i apologize because i might have to find some free wi-fi somewhere um and try to get to upload. I'm not sure how fast I can upload videos over a McDonald's Wi-Fi. We'll see. So if it is late, if it's Saturday, I apologize. Um, but I didn't want to record it earlier in the week, and then you know, I, just, I like I like doing on the day of that I upload them just to keep it real. Um, anyways, let me know what y'all think. If y'all have more ideas about the pro staff, the discounted thing, uh, there are definitely ups and downs to it. I think there are more pros versus pros than cons. I, I don't personally have a big issue with it. If if guys want to take advantage of it and it helps them out, I'm all about it. I think overall it helps the industry. I think if the more people that you can get involved in the industry, the more money you can get coming into the industry, no matter what um, the circumstances are or who it is, I think that's better. You know, if a guy if a guy's getting 50 percent off of baits and and he goes and buys 30 packs of something because he he loves the company but he's able to buy more you know without that 50 percent, he might only bought 10 packs so overall more money came in um and i i'm all about that you know I, and i realize 
there's somebody may crucify me for oh what the margins and this and that and it doesn't add up in cost yeah I, I get that i'm not going into all that but i i think overall it's a, a good thing so guys let me know what you think and please subscribe comment below and if you have anything else i had um sorry i can't remember your screen name right now uh because i just uh i don't have a computer with me obviously i'm driving um, but you commented about i think it was ryan timmerman maybe i think it was yeah i think it was ryan timmerman commented about doing a video on do on jerk baits and stuff that actually sorry i got mixed up that actually wasn't on here that was on a tackle tip tuesday um doesn't matter but check though if y'all haven't seen those please go and check those out the tackle tip tuesdays they're pretty basic stuff for people just kind of starting out fishing um but hopefully as soon as we get the boat that's why all these videos have been like in my truck and shop and everything else hopefully before too long i'm gonna be able to get more on the water footage for y'all i know y'all are probably getting bored with the in the shop and in the truck stuff but uh, i'm headed to gunnersville next weekend so it should be getting a lot better so anyways rambling on thanks for watching please subscribe comment below catch y'all next week thanks guys